Hey guys, Mr. Chalman here. Uh, I'm going to give you a little example uh, for task seven. So this is a task seven example. Okay, so hopefully this should clear up a little bit um, about what we're going to do. And remember, this is our exponents unit. So our basic form of an exponential equation is y equals um, b times a to the x, where b is my starting value. And a is my rate. Okay, uh, this is actually kind of a cool um, problem. This is a real problem. This actually happened. Um, was it African snails or something like that? Um, the giant African snail or something. Some kid uh, had one down in the south. I can't remember what state it was in. Uh, and he decided he didn't want them anymore. Or maybe the grandma did. So she just released them into the garden. And they started with three snails. And after a couple of years, the snail population was like decimating uh, plant life and crops. And they had to like eradicate the snails. Like it's pretty crazy. I think there's still a snail population in the south. Um, but they do a pretty good job of like taking care of it, but they have to like spend a lot of money to do it. So anyways, uh, I'm going to give you an example problem. Uh, the very first one said, find the rate, and it gave you two points. The very first point was when the snails were, were released, and instead of three, I'm going to use two, just so I'm not doing the exact same problem. So you guys still have to kind of do a little bit of your work uh, on your own. Okay, so our example problem, two snails released. And I'm going to say after, uh, yeah, let's go five years. Five years, there are 8,000 snails. Uh, in the wild. Okay. So um, clearly I have two points, right? Uh, and if I made a T chart of values, my X's and Y's, just like I would do up here for my equation, uh, the first value is uh, when X is zero. So at year zero, there were two snails that we released. One, two, three, four, five. After the fifth year, there were 8,000 snails. Okay, uh, now what we want to know, okay, the initial value is 2, so that means B equals 2 as far as this original equation is concerned. Um, and at some point, when my X is 5, this is 8,000. So if I wrote this equation out right here, or let's write them both out. So uh, we're going to go 2 equals... Let's go y. Yeah. y equals 2 times, we don't know what this number is, so we're just going to put an a there. a to the 0 power, and we know that this equals 2. Right? Pretty straightforward. This one down here, we're going to say 8,000, because that's where our y is, right? 8,000 equals 2 times a to the fifth. So to get from here to here, we just were like, um, this was a to the first power, a to the second power, a to the third power, a to the fourth power, and finally, a to the fifth power. So we're basically just multiplying by a over and over and over again. That's the rate. That's how this increases. Um, but we need to figure out what that rate is. So in order to do that, I like I want an equation that eventually looks like a equals a number, right? That's like the goal. That's where we want to get to. So we have to kind of undo what's over here on this side of the equation to get rid of all this other stuff. Now we could put any number in for a up here, and if we multiply that by zero, this would come out to two. So working with this equation doesn't really help us. So working with the initial starting value won't tell us the rate at all. We have to find another point on there where we know the amount of snails that are out there in the wild. So um, at five years, there's 8,000. So to figure out the rate at which this is increasing, we have to get rid of these things 
over here that are connected to the A. So just like we did in algebra, what we do to one side, we have to the other. So let's go ahead and start with getting rid of this too. So if I divide both sides of this equation by two, these cancel out. I'm left with 4,000 equals A to the fifth power. Um, now, if you guys know how to use your graphing calculators, if you have them, um, you can actually just push the math button and take the fifth root of each one of these. So to get rid of this to the fifth power, you could actually just take the fifth root of both of these, and that would cancel this out. And then you'd find out what that equals. You could just plug it into your calculator. It'd be super easy. Um, but I don't want to show you that because we're going to, this is uh, an exponential unit. So we're actually going to use rules of exponents to do this. Okay. So to get rid of this fifth power, if we want this just to be A, isn't A to the first power the same as just A? So if we get this to a one, if we figure out a way to get this to a one, um, we could do that on both sides and that would kind of solve our problem. So I'm gonna use the, uh, what is it? Powers of exponent, powers of exponents rule. Okay, and that says that if I take a number, um, a to the n power, and I raise that to the m power, then what I get is a times n times m. So just the exponents are multiplied together if I do that. So I'm going to use this rule to figure this out. So uh, the reason this helps me is because I can now say, what can I multiply this number by to make it equal 1? Well, multiplying it is kind of difficult, but if I divide it by 5, 5 divided by 5, that equals 1. So how do I do a multiplication? Uh, how do I use a number that multiplies something that's actually dividing? Like, so instead of multiplying, it actually is dividing. This is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 5. Because 5 times 1 over 5, that's the same thing as dividing by 5. So if I do this to both sides, this actually becomes, let me just draw over here, 4,000. And you don't even need a graphing calculator to do this, by the way. You can do this on a normal scientific calculator. 4,000 to the 1 fifth power equals A, 5 times 1 fifth. And that's the same thing as saying 5 over 5, right? Was a to the, because if you multiply a whole number by a fraction, you're just multiplying the numerators, right? And this is the same thing as 5 over 1, isn't it? So this would be 5 times 1 and 1 times 5. So this equals a to the 5 over 5, which equals a to the first. Okay, so all we have to do is plug this into our calculator and we should be all good. So I'm going to show you how to do this on the graphing calculator just because um, you can kind of see what I'm doing up here a little easier, but you can do this on any calculator, even the calculator on your phones. So you go 4,000 and then you press the little caret to get to the exponent, right? And then you do an open parenthesis and you go 1 divided by 5. And that's it. And you get a weird decimal. So the fifth root of 4,000 is five, approximately 5.25. So in this case, A approximately equals 5.25. Right here. Okay, I hope that helps you with the first one. Um, if you're still having problems, we can talk about the other ones. Um, you might, these rules will work for all of them. This rule will help you with all of them. Um, but you might want to review uh, natural logarithms, if you guys remember those logarithms. Um, and if you can't finish all this task, please email me and I might make another video on that. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, hope to see you soon. I am going to be at the drive through for a pickup for your uh, cap and gowns. So, and I, I'll be there for the second half. So, I've got to kind of stagger who is there. 
So if you see me wave all the way back at you, I'll be wearing a mask. It has a blue shark on it. All right. Hopefully I'll see you guys next Tuesday. If not, um, shoot me an email or a text or something. So I know you're still okay. Okay.